you here to learn the colors all together. Phoebe, let's go over what you have learned at school. Groovy, pay attention. We have six paint buckets of different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> exactly, Groovy. Here, green. And yellow, too. Blue and pink. We also have four drawings related to Pokemon. Pikachu, Pokeball, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. They are so cool. Do you know the color of each one? Groovy. Transform into a brush and help Phoebe paint the drawings with the right color. Let's start with the first one. Pikachu! What color is Pikachu? Red? Orange? That's right! Pikachu is yellow! Let's move to the next one! Pokeball! What color is it? Green? No, Groovy! Pokeballs aren't green! Which Pokemon is green? That's right! Bulbasaur is green! So, again, what color is the Pokeball? Orange? Blue? Red? Yes! Pokeballs are red! Good job, Groovy! Last drawing. Charmander. I think this one's pretty easy. Come on, Groovy. Pick a color for it. Red? Again? No, Groovy. That's not the right color. Yes! Orange! You painted all the drawings with the right color. Yellow, red, orange, and green. Let's go over all of the colors again. Red, like Pokeballs. Orange, like Charmander. Yellow, like Pikachu. Green, like Bulbasaur. Sure, and Broccoli. Blue, like Squirtle. And pink, like Jigglypuff. And like Pops. Learning is so fun! What a beautiful day to play with the family in the garden. Well, well, looks like Mom and Dad don't feel like playing ball very much. Maybe we can go out and play a little later. Oh no, it's gone dark and they're still on the couch. Pops, why don't you explain to them that they shouldn't spend so much time looking at screens? We must use... Hello? They don't even listen to us, do they? Why don't you try with Groovy first? How? With a little something he can't resist.
Groovy, can you help Pops? I think, guys, it's time to take action. up to? What are you going to transform? Kids, what should Groovy transform into so Phoebe and her parents have to give up their phones? A chair? A puzzle piece? Or a loud alarm? That's it! An alarm! Let's do it. technology responsibly. It's very useful for the development of many skills and access to information, but it's very easy to become absorbed and end up wasting a lot of time. Today, we lost a great afternoon of playing in the sunshine together in the garden. Not only children should learn this, it is very important that parents set an example. Did you get that, kids? And parents? Idea, Pops. It's late to go out in the garden, but we can play a board game. <laughs> this is really playtime and family. Wow, Groovy, your hippo doesn't swallow. It must be stuffed. Hey, that's cheating. <laughs> Little friends, as you can see, nothing can replace family fun. Turn off your cell phones. Turn on your imagination. What a beautiful day for... Wait a minute. The day is ending. It's time to go to bed. Children, you've played a lot today. Now it's time to rest, and for that, there's nothing better than bed. Going to bed doesn't have to be boring. Your parents will read you your favorite bedtime story. Wait a minute. If you want your parents to read you a story, you must first go through all the preparations before you go to bed. Will you be able to do that? You don't remember what to do before you go to bed, do you? Nothing? Good thing we have pops. Please. You can't go to bed without brushing your teeth first. Come on, leave them shiny. Next, it's time to get comfortable. Pajamas for a good night's sleep are adorable. 
and to sleep soundly. Leave the school bag ready for the next day proudly. And now, yes, it's time to go to bed. To sleep more peacefully, choose your favorite stuffed animal for the night ahead. Now that everything's fine, it's story time. I see you have understood Pop's instructions perfectly. Hey, 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 Groovy, what are you doing? That's better, much better. And with teeth clean and shiny, let's... Get into our pajamas. But Groovy, you've got your pajamas on backwards. Please, Phoebe, help him. That's it. First, we put in one leg, then the other. That's right. Then one sleeve, then the other. Now we fasten the buttons, and that's it. Oh, Groovy, there's no way with you. Go on, button up all your pajamas or you'll catch cold. Now that you've got your pajamas on, can you remember what the next step is? All right, Phoebe, get the school bag ready for tomorrow. Remember to pack only the things you need for a day at school. Groovy, what are you doing with that backpack? Let's see if you kids can tell us what the next step is. That's right, Phoebe. Getting into bed with our favorite stuffed animal. <laughs> Poor Pops. You've done everything so well. Brushed your teeth, put on your pajamas, packed your backpack, and climbed into bed with your favorite toy. Now all that's left is the best part, the story. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful dinosaur, but he was sad because he couldn't swim. One day it rained and rained and everything was flooded. The dinosaur resisted on top of a rock but the water kept rising and rising, and he was getting more and more scared until... Oh no! There has been a blackout in the whole neighborhood. Your parents can't read the story anymore because the lights are out. What do we do? Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into so the parents can keep reading the story? A flower? A flashlight? Or a shoe? Yes, a flashlight. Thanks, Groovy. Where were we going? Oh, yes. The 
dinosaur was getting more and more scared. The water was almost up to his neck. But out of sheer excitement, he started to move his arms and then he realized that he could swim. He was very happy and swam down to the river. And this story is over. Sweet dreams, children. See you tomorrow. Dress up Phoebe as Halloween characters? Yes? <laughs> Let's play Halloween Night Out! Yay! So fun! Hmm, let's start with the skeleton. Cool, right? We begin by choosing the top. Which one is it? Hmm, I know! The black one! No, Groovy! That one's purple! Look for a black one. Nice, Groovy! That's right. So now let's choose the trousers. Exactly! It fits perfectly with the top. Phoebe looks really cute. But something's missing. That's it! Something for the head. Let's check what we have. Remember, we're looking for a skull. Exactly! Wow! So cool! Now Phoebe's dressed up like a skeleton! So scary! Let's continue with the next one! It's Frankenstein's turn! So again, let's pick the right top! Hmm, I don't think you know which one it is! <laughs> yes! That one with broken clothes! Now the trousers! Come on, Groovy! You can do it! They have to be broken too! Yes! That one was easy! Good job, Groovy! It's time for the head! Let's check them! Hmm! We need a green head with screws! No, Groovy! That's a purple hat! Exactly! That one! Oh my! She looks gorgeous! I'm sure this will be Phoebe's favorite! That costume is so cool! Let's move to the last one! A witch! I really like her outfit! Let's search for the top! Now we do want to choose the purple one! That's it, Groovy! And the skirt? Do you know which one it is? No, Groovy! 
remember, we've already chosen that one for the skeleton. We're looking for a purple skirt. Yes, that one. And now, the head. We're looking for a purple witch hat. Yes, that was easy. Wow, I can't believe how cute Phoebe looks as a witch as well. Well done, Ruby. You finished the game successfully. Now you have to choose your favorite. Yay! Mine too! Bye! <laughs> Welcome to the garage! Today we built the Batmobile! Even the Batmobile needs them to move! Robot helper, please bring the wheel! That's it! This part's called the chassis! If Batman wants to turn right or left, he'll need a very important piece! Hmm, that's it! The steering wheel! Oh, right! I almost forgot! In order to move, the Batmobile needs power from the engine! Thank you, Robot Helper! Robot Helper! Bring some seats so Batman can sit comfortably! Thank you! We have some very important parts in place for the Batmobile to work! But what's missing? That's right! The body! Or as I call it, the bat shell! <laughs> Very important! Lights and turn signals so they can show where they're going to avoid accidents! Robot helper! I think we need to put some finishing touches so everyone knows it's Batman's car! Super cool! Thank you so much, girls and boys! With your help, this car is now ready to patrol the city! See you next time! Do you want to help Groovy dress up Phoebe as a princess? Yes? Let's play Become a Princess app! So fun! Hmm. Let's start with Elsa from Frozen! She's my favorite! Let's begin by choosing the top. Which one is it? Hmm, I know! The light blue one! No, Groovy! That's blue! But there's another one that's light blue! Nice, Groovy! That's right! Now let's choose the skirt! Exactly! It fits perfectly with the top! Phoebe looks really cute! But something's missing! That's it! The hair! Let's check the ones we have! Remember, we're looking for a blonde one with a braid! Exactly! Wow! So cool! Now Phoebe is dressed up like Elsa! She's a beauty! Let's continue with the next one! Little Mermaid's turn! So again, let's pick the right top! Hmm, I don't think you know which one it is! Me. Yes! The one with the shells! So now the skirt! Oh, I mean tail! Because this time, we're looking for a mermaid tail! Yes! That one was easy! Good job, Groovy! It's time for the hair! Let's check them! Hmm, we need a red hair wig! No, Groovy! All the hair must be red! Not only the headband! Exactly! That one! Oh my! She looks gorgeous! I'm sure this will be Phoebe's favorite! Flounder's missing though! Let's move to the last one! Snow White! Did you know she's the first Disney princess? Let's choose her top! Now we do want the dark blue one! That's it, Groovy! And the skirt? Do you know which one it is? No, Groovy! Remember, we've already chosen that one for Elsa! We are looking for a yellow skirt! Yes, that one! 
And now the hair. We're looking for dark short hair. Yes, that was easy. Wow, I can't believe how cute Phoebe looks as Snow White. Well done, Groovy. You finished the game successfully. Now you have to choose your favorite.